Hey guys, it's Cars from Miller Tech here, back with another video. And today in this video, I'm going to be showing you all the different modes on a DJI Phantom controller and what they do and what they mean. And so, yeah, let's get into the video. Also, in this video, I'm going to be flying my DJI Phantom 3 standard drone. So, if you wanted to know what drone this is, that's what it is. So, anyways, now let's get into the video. So before I get up in the air, I want to explain here while the drone is on the ground what these actually do. So on this side, this actually controls when the drone is in satellite mode, which is up. In the middle is when there is no satellites available or you just want to fly in attitude mode, which means there are no satellites connected. So if you want to do like more manual controlling, you'll want to use this setting opposed to satellite mode. And the very bottom one adds different options such as modes where you can have point of interest, waypoints, follow me mode, home lock, and course lock. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you what all of those do. And also over here on the S2 side, this is not for controlling the drone. This is for doing other things such as resetting the remote controller to factory defaults and initiating return to home and other things such as that. But I would not suggest using this over here for anything really. So for me, I just leave it in the middle whenever I'm flying. So yeah, let's get into flying this and I'll show you a few of the modes. Okay, so now that I'm up in the air, I just want to show you the first mode, which is the mode that you should always try to fly in when you're in areas where there is good satellite reception. And in my case, I've got 11 satellites connected right now, so that's good. So you'll want to use this mode when you're wanting to hover in one place, such as like right now. Or if you plan to initiate return to home, you're going to want to try and stay in this mode. So the next mode, is basically manual mode and as you can see the drone is drifting right now and it says flight mode set to addy which means attitude mode so if you're in this mode you have to control the drone all by yourself without the help of a satellite so if you're in this feature you can also you just see it's just drifting because it's in the wind and so yeah that's that mode, so I want to go out of that mode because you don't really want that mode ever unless you're wanting to maybe get the uh, highest speed possible. You can't get super fast in that mode, but you can try. But another thing, in the very bottom mode, as you can see, it adds a feature here on your phone that you can click on, which shows you point of interest, waypoints, follow me mode, and all the other stuff that I already talked about. So the very first mode that I'm going to show you is probably my favorite, which is the point of interest mode. In this, it just brings this up and tells you how to control the drone when it's in this mode, but I already know how to do this, so I'll click got it. So first off, you're going to want to go to the attitude and the center point of where you want the drone to hover around. So I want the drone to hover about right here round in a circle about right here. So I'm gonna hit record POI, which is point of interest. And once you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to move away from the center to at least, I think it's 18 feet. And then it will begin to show in blue that you can initiate the point of interest mode. So I'm gonna apply. And it will begin looping around your point of interest. And as you can see right now, it is circling around and while you're doing this you can adjust the speed at which the drone travels around in a circle and it also shows you how long it takes per loop so as you can see I just made it so now it circles around in about 20 seconds you can also go and make it turn the other direction if you want it to go clockwise so it will circle around Another thing you can do while you're in this mode, you may be like, well, I want to record a video while I'm doing this. So if you want to do that, you want to click hide right here. And now you can click the record button and you can begin recording a video. 
So once you're done with this mode and you're like, I want to go and do something else or I want to fly and do something else, you can either end your recording or leave it going and I'm just going to leave it going for right now. And you click that down there. I don't know if you saw what I did, but you click this right here and it brings up this screen again, which you'll recognize. And what you want to do when you want to exit this mode is just click exit and it will warn you that it will just hover in the same place. So then just to show you the drone is just hovering in place right now so I want to show you another mode the next mode that I want to show you is follow me mode follow me mode is great for when you have the controller and you know that you'll be able to hold the controller for the drone to follow you so basically if you want to use this mode you're gonna to have to have the controller in your phone in order for it to follow you because this is not a DJI 4 drone and if you do have a DJI 4 drone then you might want to go find another video that explains better how to do, do follow me mode on that drone. But anyways, for any drones that aren't a DJI 4, you just want to click on the follow me and then click apply. And it will bring up this screen that you recognize once again. And you can click hide to hide this. And you can get closer to your subject if you want. And as you're walking around, you'll notice that the drone follows you around. So I'm just walking around right now and the drone is just going to follow me at about the same distance that it's been at the entire time. It's just following me, keeping me almost in center. I could change it around and make it a little bit more centered, turn it towards me a little bit more. And you can get to like a run if you want. <laughs> I'm not going to run right now, but you can do that. And if you stop, it'll just stop and hover in place. So yeah, that is follow me mode. Once you want to exit follow me mode, you can either click down here or you can click stop right here and you can click okay. And it will exit the mode. The next thing that I want to show you is the course lock feature. When you go on course lock, what this does is it locks your drone into a straight path and will only go in that direction or if you set the direction to the left or the right it will stay there also so in my case I want to go and lower the drone a little bit more and go and click on apply one thing that I forgot to mention is before you click apply make sure your drone is facing in the direction you want it to travel it can't be to the left or right of where you want it to go or else it just won't fly in that direction. But if you want to reset the direction, just turn the drone a little bit and you can click on reset direction and that will reset the direction that your drone will follow. So now I'll show you this mode. So click hide and when I push forward on the stick, it goes forward, backwards. Obviously that's the same as usual, but if you push sideways, It'll still travel in that direction, but if you press forward and you do a spin, it'll stay on that line of path, as you can see. So I just went like that, but now if you want to go backwards, you have to pull backwards on this stick and you can change your direction. This is a great mode for if you're wanting to go and say you're capturing a subject that's running or jogging or something like that and you want to go in front of them and do something like that you can use this mode for that so I'm going to stop this and the last mode that I want to show you is waypoints waypoints is very similar to how point of interest works although it doesn't just have to be a circle you can go and set missions and create new missions and it will follow around that area like shown here and it will just follow that. So I've already set a mission earlier, so I can click on favorite and apply. And after clicking that, I'm going to want to click apply and apply once again. And because I'm not close to that beginning point, I'm gonna click okay. And it's gonna go and fly to the beginning point of this waypoint that I've set. And now that it's in the place of where it begins, it will begin flying on the waypoint. So I can click hide. I'm going to record this. And I set this waypoint to go and fly around my house. So when you're in waypoint mode, it won't automatically go to the center. So you're going to have to go and move the joysticks and get it to go to the center. So basically, 
I just set it so then it goes and flies around in a circle around my house. You can adjust the camera, make it look all cool and stuff. And when you want to stop that mode, just click stop like all the others. So basically, that's waypoint mode. It's really simple and really easy to do and set up. I hadn't shown you how to go and create waypoints, but it's very simple. You just go into the waypoints and you click on new mission and you just click on record the place every single time you want to add a every single time you want to add a point on a map so then the drone goes to that place so the very last mode that I want to show you guys is home lock what home lock does is say you've flown really far away and you don't know how to get back to where you are currently so what you do with home lock is you click on home lock and you click on apply what happens is when you pull down the stick to the right, it will return to the home point that it set when you first took off. So as you can see, it's coming back home. And there we are. So basically, that's pretty much it for all the modes of the DJI Phantom 3 standard drone. In my case, it's very useful to use these different modes. So anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope this video helped you in figuring out how to control your drone with your controller. And hopefully this taught you something on the different modes of a Phantom 3 controller. So anyways guys, if you guys liked this video and it helped you out, make sure to comment down below. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to me and I'm going to try to upload every Wednesday and that's what I've been doing so far. So anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this video. See you in the next video. Peace.